Hello and happy Monday. My name is Michael Leiserman here with the Trial Guide's tip of the day. The date is March 11th, 2024. And our tip today comes from the book Theater for Trial by David Ball and Joshua Carton. Here to read today's tip is the one and only Joshua Carton. Welcome, Joshua. Hello, Michael. We've all been trained to compete for the prize for the first one across the finish line. In the courtroom, if you get there first and you get there alone, you get there with nothing. Sounds so ominous. The, the, the first one, we've been trained to be the first. What do you mean by that? Well, I think that Many people who find themselves in law school have had a formal education, by which I don't necessarily mean Eton or Oxford, but you've gone through the, uh, the school system. And if you have, the one who gets the A, the one who uh, gets the homework in on time, the one who competes. Um, now, the one who turns the test in after, you know, five minutes, you know, is like throwing themselves on their sword, but a martyr to academia. But And sports, that it's about getting the ball across, getting the ball in, doing. Um, I had a lot of uh, physical therapy once from some injuries. And uh, the man who was working on me worked on David Beckham. And he said, first of all, there's no place left on his body for another tattoo. But the remarkable thing when he was on the field was that he seemed to be orchestrating every other player as well as himself. And this is, it starts in voir dire, yes, that you, if you get there having done everything perfectly, but this group, you're not escorting them or guiding them or they're not with you, uh, you, you, you've got bupkis, um, which is a term for those, you know, little turds, um, in the rabbit cage, the pellets, um, you're, it, it's, you can't win. The jurors have to do this thing. They have to know that you honor them and that they are, can do something that you cannot do without them. And that's what I mean. So, so I hear this as uh, you're not checking the boxes. This is admitted into evidence. This is admitted of, you know, read this jury instruction, but it, it's rather a process that you're taking the jury along with it's it's about the process not the finish line i mean you get to the exactly. finish line only through a careful process yes, yes. and this is something because i was listening to a lawyer i like very much interviewing a co-author i love and he kept using the term he was asking him about the theater and trial and kept using the term the audience the audience can love what they've seen and they go to the bar or the pub and they talk about it and they go home. If that's what the jurors want to do, which is get back to their life and share, wasn't this an interesting experience? You're sunk. They have to do something. They have to do something. They have to take an action. So in effect, when, you know, they talked about their relationship to the theater or dramatic writing, they're your co-authors and they're going to have, it's going to be the jurors cut, not yours. Um, and that's a fundamental difference, I think. And I know I'm not saying, well, what am I saying? I'm saying that it's a, a quibble of vocabulary, but. If you think of them as an audience, and it's one of the reasons that working with, and I was worried about coming on this, would I have anything to say? It's like, listen to me. Well, um, 
people who've had theater experience sometimes are very disadvantaged when they go into working with juries because they're used to performance. Ah. And it's not the same. It's pieces of it are the same. But um, it's yeah. like when you do a cross-examination and you feel, blah, 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 blah. You know, you want to floss little bloody bits out of your... T and the jurors, you've never looked at them to see where are they. Now, I'm not saying you have to look at them, but you've never considered... I mean, if they're sitting going, leave them alone. This isn't working. So... Uh, you know, this is some of the... If, if you've enjoyed this, if you're watching this, I highly recommend Theater for Trial. I highly recommend working with Joshua Carton, if you haven't before. Um, Joshua, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your your wisdom and yourself with, with us. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Let's take a deep breath and be grateful to be alive this Monday. May the work that we do today help to reduce the suffering in the world, reduce the suffering in our lives, the lives of our clients and all beings. May our work today help repair the world. May our work today help to accomplish justice. May we fiercely and compassionately champion our clients' causes. I'm going to ring a bell three times now. This can take you into a meditation practice a prayer practice, or just let the sounds wash over you and remind you, wake up, it's Monday. Go out, do good things, and have fun while you're doing it.